What's going on everybody, PhysioTrader here and going to do a video about hotkeys. So I got a question from a uh, another fellow YouTuber says, nice video, I am, so I'll pull it over here, nice video, I'm using Street Smart Edge and I'm having issues with the hotkeys. They work one time, then beep at me when I try to use them. I'm not, I'm sure it's something stupid that I'm doing, it is with uh, buy and sell orders. So um, when I started using hotkeys with Charles Schwab Street Smart Edge, I kept going into these problems. And so basically, I'm not gonna make any orders right now. We're not gonna review any orders right now, but I wanna go over some of the troubleshooting that I had done back then. And let's see if we can answer uh, this fine uh, person's question and hopefully help someone else out in the process. And uh, if I do help you out, you know, be nice, leave a like. Uh, if I don't, uh, also leave a like. Uh, but, you know, just let me know in the comment section if it was helpful for you. So uh, first and foremost, just kind of going through the banner um, up here at the screen. And let me kind of just get my face out of the way because I don't think there's any real need for me to be there. Um, but essentially, so we have our trade tools. You know, if you're using Charles Schwab Street Smart Edge, whether you're using it on their native platform or you're using it on a Mac uh, and using the, the cloud version, it, it'll look the exact same. But essentially, um, first and foremost, nothing to do with this. I have found that if you are trading on a desktop and you are using a wireless keyboard, then for me personally, it never worked or it did not work uh, persistently. And so if you are using a, I'll go back. If you are using a wired keyboard, I found it to be much more precise, much more accurate. So if you are using a wireless keyboard, I understand that many people prefer wireless keyboards. Uh, I myself do as well. But anytime I was trading and I was using hotkeys, I made sure I snapped that that uh, that Bluetooth cable in there because I did not want a single second of delay. When I hit that key, you know, people who are using hotkeys are typically using hotkeys because they need the immediacy that goes along with it. They don't need the time to come over here, click in their order price, click the whatever they want, click how many shares they want, click the venue. Do they want to stop? Do they want to limit? They no, they, they want to get in and out now. Now you spend a lot of time setting those up in the front end, but then when it's time to use them, you try to execute them. It's as quick as hitting those buttons. Hence the name, you know, hot keys or sometimes hot buttons if you like just the predetermined click buttons. So if you're not using a wired keyboard, then start there. Cause I have noticed that sometimes, especially Schwab uh, does not register. Now with Lightspeed, I did notice that it did register it a lot more frequently, even being a wireless keyboard. But one time was one time enough for me to say, you know what, I'm always going wired in. Now that I'm trading on a laptop, it doesn't matter. I'm always using the native keyboard and I've had zero problems with it since. But if you don't have a wired keyboard, start there. Uh, next up, we're gonna go over to the settings and we are going to take a look. So if you are over here on the settings, the settings is that top right or top left banner. You're gonna come over here, you're gonna click trading. You are going to get into equity hotkeys and you are gonna set up your hotkeys. Now, presumably that you've watched the other video or you know how to do them yourself. Um, here is where I found the issue to be. First and foremost, where is your venue? If your venue says anything other than smart, then it might not work. So if you are using this Cyber Exchange Direct, then you probably have had to ask uh, Schwab for that capability and you probably have a much larger account. Um, if you are using uh, Smart, that means that Schwab's platform is gonna decide where that's going to go. And if you are going to do this in pre-market or after hours, because Smart only works during market open, market hours, um, the hotkeys I've never heard of, I, I don't, personally don't want to set up a hotkey for pre-market or after hours separately. And that's another reason why I got direct market access. Now, the difference is with smart, that only occurs at, uh, what's the market open? Uh, 9.30 to 4. Um, at When the market is open, when the market closed, that hotkey no longer works. I've also noticed that with Charles Schwab, if you are on their pre-market bid, then five minutes before the market opens, you no longer get to use that. It just stops working. And same thing with after hours, the first five minutes after the market closes, you can't actually place orders. That's another reason why I got the, which is totally free by the way, it doesn't mess up or it doesn't alter your commission free uh, fee status, still free commissions. Um, that's why I uh, opted for direct market access, which allows me these two bottom ones. 
NASDAQ and the ARCA book. And when I'm in the NASDAQ, I always have it for NASDAQ. That's what I do with all of mine, just because um, you know that's my preference. Uh, different discussion. But now, NASDAQ, as soon as 4 a.m. until 8 p.m., my hotkey is available. So basically, anytime the market's moving, anytime whatsoever, I can do it. I can trade within those five minute windows pre and post market. Um, no, no issues whatsoever. So again, though, if you have NASDAQ or Ar ARCA selected, which I believe a lot of people, I believe their platform actually gives you these, even if you have not applied for direct market access. If you have not applied for direct market access and been given approval, then you'll be able to click this. Doesn't mean you'll be able to do it. The way you know for certain if you have that is if you come over to venue and you get to choose NASDAQ or ARCA. Most people's platforms will say smart, pre-market, after hours, and during the market, this will be faded out. So right now we're in after hours, so that's why pre-market's faded out. Smart, uh, you can click smart, you can send an order right now, but it's not even gonna trigger that order until tomorrow when the market opens. That's why the market has a lot of volatility the first couple minutes, because everybody who put their orders in, they don't start triggering those, the algorithms don't start triggering those orders until the market opens. Uh, but again, like I said, I keep mine at NASDAQ for everything. So now I don't have to worry about the timing. So that would be the second thing. And the last thing is um, make sure that your server settings are set right. I've talked about it before, but make sure that your CPU load is set high so you, you're not bogging down the system. Um, but again, going back to trading, and here's another thing that commonly is done. Uh, what is your time in force? So uh, day means that during the day open from market open to market close. We're in after hours, so all of that would have been any orders I placed, like I did down here. Peloton, I tried to buy some on the dip, I never got filled, and so it was out, meaning I got canceled, that that order was kicked out. Um, if you have it on um, IOC, which typically, uh, a lot of platforms I see it as F-O-K, fill or kill, meaning get me in or don't do it, like fill the order or just kill the order, um, Schwab calls it IOC, immediate or cancel, which is essentially the same thing, fill or kill or immediate or cancel. Um, I believe this has a time limit of 10 seconds. So if you're on immediate or cancel, um, and I think you can go through the settings somewhere, I don't know how, um, and, uh, and, and essentially do it. Now, the reason I don't do that is because that doesn't direct it towards, uh, or yeah, it directs it towards your hotkeys. Um, now there's many, many people who, who do fill or kill or immediate or cancel. I, myself, I just keep it today. And if I don't get filled within the 10 to 20 seconds, then I'm going to manually hit my hotkey to cancel that order. That again, that's just my preference. So, um, that would definitely take a look at that and see if you have, um, day in, which is for the entire day until the market closes or immediate or cancel, or some other brokers will refer to that as fill or kill. So that is my, uh, my suggestions. Check out those three. And uh, if you're not getting those, um, then you go over here and you'll go to the message center. And uh, so it says on, so Dr. Motto was saying um, that I'm getting the beep when I try to use them. That beep is he's getting a message. So the, the broker, the platform is handing him a message. And for you, I get them all the time and I ignore them. But then I think, oh, wow, this message is trying to tell me something. Click that message center and it'll say why your order was not registered. It may say, hey, you're trying to send it to a, a, an exchange that you don't have access to, which means you need to get direct market access. Or it could say you're trying to buy too many shares that don't exist or you're trying to short something that doesn't exist or is not easy to borrow. Like uh, AMC right now, hard to borrow. You can't short it without paying extra fees. Um, does that make, you know, hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you could leave me a comment or a like or anything like that, uh, Dr. Motto specifically, you know, be greatly appreciated as well as anyone that, that may have helped with this or, or that has benefited from this. Cause like I said, this is something that it took me a while to figure out myself. So, um, if you have any questions, reach out in the comment section. I do take it, uh, you know, I do think that it's very important. If anybody gives me a, a question or a comment, I try to answer them uh, wholeheartedly sometimes with a video. I don't always answer with a video like this, but this is something that I actually get asked more um, often than not. So I figured it's just, you know, it's easier to then answering it repeatedly. So um, thank you so much for being a part of the community. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the channel and I will catch you all next time.